What's going on guys? So last time you saw this hitch was in the video where I showed you what it's capable of doing. This is the Waysafe two inch drop fixed hitch, which basically means that it's not an adjustable hitch, but it has their integrated scale, which is super cool. 1500 pound tongue weight capacity, 10,000 pound trailer weight capacity built here in the US. This is a really cool product and I told you that we were gonna take it out and test it out. So hang tight, I think you're gonna enjoy this video. All right, so this truck comes with a three inch receiver. I have a two and a half inch reducer and then I have a two inch reducer right here. So the two inch shank will fit inside of here. Just gotta align the holes up here on the side, pop the pin in. I'm not gonna lie, this thing actually looks kind of beefy on the back of the truck, even though it's a two inch shank. But because of where the scale's positioned and how wide the actual ball mount is, looks pretty, uh, pretty nice on the back of the truck to be honest. All right, so we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are backed up to a Puma travel trailer. We have the Waysafe fixed ball hitch in place with the scale embedded on it, and we're going to put this thing to the test to see how much the tongue weight of this Puma weighs. So this has a 7,756 pound gross vehicle weight rating and a 6,300 pound dry weight. So ideally, you're going to expect about 10% of that weight whenever it's empty to transfer to the tongue of the truck. In some cases, it might be a little bit more than that, but generally it's going to fall between about 10 and 15%, usually more towards 15% whenever you have the trailer loaded up. So we're going to go ahead and lower the trailer down onto the hitch and see what it says. Go ahead and put your guesses on what you think the hitch weight will be in the comment section below. I think most people will probably be pretty close. So scale's moving and we are right at about 700 pounds. Tongue jack is off the ground, so you can see it moving here. And the scale says that the tongue weight transferred over to this way safe hitch is about 700 pounds. 700 pounds tongue weight on a trailer that weighs about 6,300 pounds right now. So that's a bit over 10%. But keep in mind, if you're gonna be towing this behind your truck, you need to add roughly 900 pounds to that. That's gonna be the weight of the people occupants inside of the truck, the weight distribution hitch itself, as well as whatever you throw in the bed of your truck. And that is an average. You can be less or slightly more than that. Okay, so now we've backed the truck up next to this Puma. This is a significantly longer, heavier unit. This is the 28BHSS. It's a bunkhouse unit. This one has a little over 9,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating and is about 7,300 pounds dry, which means this one dry weighs about as much as the first one does fully loaded. So you would think that this is gonna transfer significantly more weight to the back of the truck. And you may be a little bit surprised when you actually see how much weight is transferred. When you see this one, you're probably gonna understand why it's so important to understand where and how you load your trailer up, where the weight needs to be placed and how you need to balance your trailer. Just like an airplane, if you've ever flown and they say the term weight and balance, it's very similar to an RV. You wanna make sure that the weight is in the right space. And just because you have space that you see could be used for storage, doesn't necessarily mean that's where you load all your weight. So let's go ahead and get this thing hitched up and see what it weighs. All right, so take a moment while we lower the tongue down onto the coupler and tell me in the comment section what you think the tongue weight of this trailer is gonna be. And again, we usually shoot for about 10% all the way up to about 15% when it's loaded, but this one may end up surprising you. So go ahead and put your comment down below what you think the actual tongue weight of this unit is gonna be. Again, this one has a little over 9,000 pound GVWR and about 7,300 pounds dry. Okay, so we have the tongue jack off the ground. It's able to move and we are right at about 750 pounds. 750 pounds, just a hair under that. So if you look at the total weight transferred here, we're right at 10%, just a hair over. So this shows the importance of understanding your weight. You would think that both of these trailers we've just done would have had two dramatically different numbers, but this one is only about 50 pounds heavier and you have to factor in the additional 900-ish pounds of weight you're gonna add on in terms of people and supplies to the truck itself. Okay, so we're going to quickly walk through both of these trailers so you can quickly see from a floor plan perspective how they differ and why the weight might be a little different than you first imagined. So the first one we're going to walk through is the 28BHSS. This is the larger of the two. And as you walk in, 
This is the reason why this trailer has likely less weight than you might think transferred over to the tongue versus the other trailer. This bunkhouse. The fact that there is a large bunkhouse at the back of this unit, this is a longer coach, so you have weight transferred to the back more than you'd think. Now from a center living room kitchen area, your axles are centered right about here and your living room and your dinette area definitely are more balanced above the axles. But the key here and the key thing to think about with this unit is the bunkhouse. The bunkhouse positions a lot of additional structure behind the axles. So you need to be very careful whenever you load up your bunkhouse with supplies. A lot of people will think that that's a great place to put all of our luggage, our bikes, everything else, when in fact you probably want to move it towards the front of the unit. The reason why is because you can add more tongue weight relatively safely to most trailers. Reducing tongue weight by putting things in the back of the unit is going to create kind of that seesaw effect and you're going to essentially remove tongue weight from the vehicle. So as we move up here, when you look into the bedroom area, if you have the ability to load things on the bed, around the bed, that's really the best position to load any supplies you're going to bring with you in the RV. So there and in the living room are my two suggestions for loading cargo and supplies. Okay, so this is the first unit we weighed. This is a Puma 27 RLSS. It is a shorter and lighter floor plan. First thing I want you to notice is the axle placement. They're placed a little further towards the back, which automatically is going to transfer a little bit more weight to the front. Hence the reason why this one had a relatively similar weight rating at the front of the unit versus the larger one that we just looked at. Now, as we walk into this unit, you're going to see a dramatically different floor plan, mainly because this is not a bunkhouse unit. This is a rear living room unit. You don't have have nearly as much structure towards the back. This one has a very similar living room and kitchen area. However, the axles are placed a little further back and you don't have that huge bunk room structure behind the axles that's actually removing weight from the front. In a unit like this, you would be a little bit safer where you could load your cargo and your supplies inside the RV because you do have some ability to put some of them towards the back. So if you have bags and things like that, it's not going to really remove that much weight if you put them towards the back of this unit. However, you're still going to want to focus on balancing out your RV. Put as much stuff as you can towards the front, over the axles, and not quite as much towards the back. But you can definitely see the difference between the two floor plans and what can contribute to a lighter hitch weight on the bunkhouse unit simply because of that large room towards the back of that specific unit. Okay, so back to the hitch and the reason why this is something you may want to consider for your tow setup, mainly because it gives you the ability before you take off on the road and regret how you packed your RV or how you have it configured to really see how much weight is actually being transferred to the tongue of your vehicle. This is going to let you see very clearly if you need to reposition some of that weight or if you're removing too much weight. If you don't don't have between 10 to 15 percent of your payload on the back of your truck in terms of your hitch weight, then you could create a very dangerous sway situation. And having a trailer weight scale that gives you the ability to see specifically the tongue weight transfer to your tow vehicle can be very, very reassuring in terms of just safely towing your rig. So this is definitely something I would have you consider getting if you tow trailers. Now it doesn't even need to be an RV. It could be a cargo trailer. It could be an enclosed or an open back trailer. It could be a flatbed or a low boy. As long as you understand the importance of balancing your load, making sure that you don't have incredibly too much weight towards the front, or you're reducing too much weight from the front by placing the load toward the back, and understanding how that can affect your towing situation is extremely important. That's really the key behind this video. I just wanted you to see how this hitch works, but more importantly, what it provides you in terms of safety and confidence whenever you are setting up your trailer and you're about to hit the road because the last thing anybody wants is to hit the road be on an interstate it starts getting windy and all of a sudden you can't control your vehicle or you're white knuckling it the entire time you're towing a couple things to remember before you get this hitch is first of all it's not adjustable which means you won't be able to raise or lower it so if you have a tongue jack that can't go up high enough for whatever height your truck is you're not going to have the ability to adjust this lower in order to accommodate that if that's your need then you would need to get one of their adjustable hitches and i also want you to understand 
understand that this is not a weight distribution hitch. So this can help you distribute your weight in a way that might make your towing setup a little bit safer. But if you need a weight distribution setup, then you need to buy a specific weight distribution setup. And Waysafe is actually producing a weight distribution version of their hitch, which is really cool. Finally, this hitch does not come with a ball. So you would have to purchase whatever size ball you need for this hitch. They can be had really, really inexpensively. Just really depends on the rating of the specific ball that you're looking for. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put a link in the description to this product if it's something you're interested in. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.